Hi everybody, hello my friend, I'm very happy and excited to introduce you to our new project with PeopleCamp and Cospro. Today we are in the Hotel Hilton once again and we're gonna meet a magical cat from Harry Potter. So, welcome to the Magic School 3, Lumos Maxima! Hello, my name's Mark Williams and I play Arthur Weasley. Hey, I'm Sean Biggerstaff and I play Oliver Wood. Hi, my name is Ivana Lynch and I played Luna Lovegood in the Harry Potter films. Yeah, hi, my name's Josh Herdman and I played Gregory Goyle. How's it going? I'm Devon Murray and I played Seamus Finnegan in all Harry Potter movies. And I'm Alfred Enoch and I played Dean Thomas in All But One. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> But like most characters do have an arc, any project I've done since there is that growth. But Luna is just someone who's it's weird because she's always been so secure in herself and I think who she is as a teenager is pretty much how she will be as an adult. I knew what, what I was going to do with Arthur. Um, I knew that I wanted him to be slightly more enthusiastic than Joe had written him. And Joe was brilliant because she always allowed the films to develop at their pace. How important friends are to her changes, because I think, I think she had become so comfortable, so used to being a unit, you know? The development was in terms of what the, what the writers wanted from each film, but my sense of his character didn't really change. And It was very strange because I stopped filming and then there was a seven and a half year gap and then I started filming again and so I went back to the same set. That was a big deal for her to accept that she had friends and people wanted to be her friends because she was so used to being okay with how other people saw her and, and not being approved of. And I, I had to sort of try and remember um, how I thought about, you know, what Oliver Wood's inner world may have been.
Well, Arthur Weasley was in Gryffindor, but I think I'd probably be in Hufflepuff. I went on the site and I got Gryffindor, which was pleasant and a relief. I like bears. <laughs> I was sorted into uh, Slytherin. <laughs> I always thought Seamus Finnegan should have been an undercover spy for Slytherin. So. I'd like to say Slytherin, but probably not. But I'm, I'm a good guy, really, so. Deep down, I'm a good guy, so. Probably like Gryffindor. I was convinced that when the last book came out, I was going to find out that Seamus was a spy. For a Draco man. <laughs> I thought that was going to be the big reveal. I was convinced. I was like, this is going to be it. This is my moment. This is my alternate ending. <laughs> exactly. Gryffindors are passionate and um, follow their heart no matter what. Um, sometimes to a fault. I was on Twitter huh? and somebody asked me, oh, would I dress up in Gryffindor or Slytherin robes? I was like, Slytherin? And Joe was like, traitor! <laughs> <laughs> so maybe she's not behind your idea. No, she's not behind my idea. Undercover Seamus been a good idea. But I think that would have been really, really cool. <laughs> a lot of my friends are Slytherins and Ravenclaws, and I think it's because they're the, the houses where they they think with their head, whereas we think with our hearts, and that is not always the wisest thing. And I think you need those head people to kind of temper you and make you be sensible. Well, at House, I, did the, I didn't do it for ages because I was so convinced of what house I would be in, and uh, I was right, I was a Gryffindor. So I was like, yeah. I was feeling pleased with myself about that. Not that, you know, not that any one house is better than the others, but no, they are. So it is. The best. Wow. Uh, yeah, I will rush into things out of a feeling rather than is this sensible or is this wise. Um, but I like that as well about Gryffindors. Um, and I like that they always, they have a real deep sense of integrity and they always fight for that. Yeah. So yeah, no house is better than the others. Only a Slytherin would say that. Um, <laughs> Gryffindor would think it, but not sure. Yeah, exactly. I have rabbit harp string home. Turn this water into rum. We all came on to Harry Potter so young, like 11, 12 years of age. And from the very beginning, Chris Columbus, the director, made sure like we had games rooms, mm. we had everything, so that we could all get to know each other better and play games and just be kids. Mm. So I think that helped an awful lot by getting everybody together. Their bonds were created from the very beginning, and then they lasted throughout the whole movies. Yeah, two of my best friends are from the films, really. Um, Scarlett Byrne, who plays Pansy Parkinson. Um, and Katie, who plays Jo Chang, they'd be two of my best friends. And uh, yeah, just like we, we, both of them are pursuing acting as well. And uh, we, we all have a slightly different journey to some of you know the other actors who were in it longer because they were more established and um, more knew what they were looking for. So it's just it's just been so interesting. You know, me and Scarlett, we help each other with auditions and. Um, to have this thing where you have a high profile, but you're also still trying to find out what kind of work you want to do. That's what also one of the nice things about doing doing conventions as well is seeing fans that care so much about it, even after such a long time, we get to see each other and spend yeah. time again 
together after like you know, sometimes quite a long time because people are all over the world doing all sorts of different things. That bond is very important in life. And then everyone else I just I see all the time and we're close and we go out in <laughs> cities around the world and that's fun. Um, but yeah, it's just it's like a family. You don't have to keep in touch, but there's always that closeness. Just say to anyone else pursuing acting that you to stay connected to your passion. I mean, that was what got me the role. It wasn't like I was more talented or more um, experienced. I had no experience in, in professional acting. So it was just purely that I loved it so much that I was determined to do a good job, that I pushed myself beyond what I'm normally capable of. Um, I pushed myself to not be shy, to not be afraid. Um, so yeah, I would always say focus on the passion and to surround yourself with people who um, believe in your dreams and um, your potential because um, there are a lot of people in, especially when you pursue the arts, anything that's kind of unpredictable and it, on that alternative route, people will try and talk you out of it and you need to surround yourself with people who um, make you believe in these impossible scenarios, yeah. Yeah, anyone going through struggles, I would just say make the dream bigger than your fears and um, always choose that every day. Choose to follow love, follow your heart rather than your fear. I was happy with what I did. I don't have any regrets uh, and uh, I enjoyed it and I'm really pleased for Joe and um, Newt's commander uh, and also for the stage show. It's, it's not something you're ever going to forget, but it, it was such a huge experience for me personally, and it was a you know, small part of what was such a huge phenomenon in the world over. Uh, alors, j'ai j'ai grandi avec uh, Harry Potter. C'est vrai que chaque année, dès que les films sortaient, je grandissais en tant que le personnage. Et uh, quand j'ai quand j'ai pu avoir l'occasion de, de venir à cette convention, j'ai tout de suite uh, fait le pas. Je trouve ça vraiment génial parce que, euh, en dehors du fait de pouvoir rencontrer les acteurs, il, y a, il se passe tellement de choses, on fait tellement de rencontres. You forget how, no, how big it was and, and how much it meant to so many people. Rien qu'au niveau de l'ambiance, c'est ouais. génial. Le fait d'arriver, de voir tous ces gens avec les écharpes, les costumes, les machins, enfin, je trouve ça génial. This was amazing because it was just Harry Potter and it's a dream come true, really. <laughs> I love coming off and doing things like this. I've noticed Harry Potter. In a sense, it just got bigger and bigger. Yeah. Even after, since the movies have all finished. Du coup, je pensais vraiment qu'on allait faire les photos et qu'après on allait repartir, les autographes repartir, les panels, que ça allait être vraiment très carré. Je m'attendais pas à croiser Alfie dans les couloirs ou Mark Williams dans les couloirs, genre comme ça. Parce qu'on les voit en vrai, on se dit bon, en fait, ils existent vraiment et en plus ils sont sympas, quoi. They realize that we're human too. Yeah. And we can have a laugh, and that's what we're here to do, kind of enjoy it. And let them up, enjoy themselves. I'm not a famous person, so like, in the eyes of a Harry Potter fan, I am. So they come up to you and they don't know what to say. And it's... I was a lot of alone when I was a child, and uh, I learned how to read through Harry Potter, and then I always had the books to comfort myself. Moi, disons que j'ai eu des années collège un petit peu difficiles, et que dans le moment où ça allait mal, bah, j'entrais chez moi, je me mettais sous ma couette et je disais Harry Potter. It hasn't stopped the fans. Like, the fans kind of grew up with all the Harry Potter movies. Now they're older. They're going to pass it on to their kids, 
and it's like passed from generation to generation. It's, it's great to see, you know, and it, it, may, it reminds you of how much it meant to so many people, and to, and that we was a part of it. So. Ça c'est toute notre enfance, toute notre adolescence. Du coup c'est. And I got my first friend through Harry Potter, and then. I got more friends through Harry Potter, so... Pour moi, c'est vraiment un, un univers dans lequel on peut se réfugier quand on va mal, et puis... Uh... My life is happy now because of Harry Potter, so... It's, I have everything to thank. <laughs> it's been a great journey for everybody, and it, it's still continuing, and... Uh, but the, the point is that the heart is still in it. Guys, uh, I want to say thank you very much for welcoming me here anyway with open arms. I've, I've had a great weekend. I hope you've all enjoyed it equally as much as I have. Uh, my first time in Paris, it's been an amazing experience. Um, it's just been great. Yeah, as you know, this is my first convention. I haven't, I've been, uh, I haven't done one in 15 years, uh, but it's been great. You've all looked after me. Uh, Nothing bad happened. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Thanks for having me, and uh, you're all too kind. I want to say thank you for having me back. Um, I love doing this convention, and um, yeah, you. I'm always so inspired by your passion for the books, and uh, it always makes me want to go back and reread the books. <laughs> so it's nice to reconnect with that as a fan. So thank you. Je vais essayer de parler un peu en français parce que. Simplement, je veux dire, euh, je veux vous remercier pour euh, l'amour et pour toute la passion que vous avez montré. C'est vraiment impressionnant et, et c'est quelque chose, c'est quelque chose de très belle. Donc, euh, ouais, très beau. Merci. Vous êtes très gentil. Et nous aimez-vous aussi. And this is the end. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, do not hesitate to like and share. And see you next time in April for the Dark Light Convention. Bye! Oh, sorry. <laughs>